Hey guys, I just want to let you guys know that I am doing a giveaway from now to October to let you guys know that you can win a prize. It's only going to be for first place and second place winners. Um, I will be doing it on a live stream for Instagram and YouTube. So stay tuned at the end of October. I will be doing that live stream. I will let you guys know. The way for you to enter is you have to hit the thumbs up on my last three videos that I posted. After you do that, then you would have to comment on one of them. After that, then you would have to repost it and tag me in it. Uh, other than that, guys, good luck on your winnings. So what's up, guys? We're back at it again. Today we're building the motor. Got Kim and Woody. Hey, hey. So I'll let Woody tell you about it because the way I'm building this motor is just the way I know, the way I was brought up, but we've been doing a lot of YouTubing and searching, I guess, and he knows more. He's already built. What? Yours is almost done, right? Yeah, it's almost done. All right. So let you tell you what you're doing. So basically what one of my good old heads that taught me when I was building my motor, when you try to get it clean and lube it at the same damn time. You just freeze off. Yes, it's not to, how can I put it? It's not really to like clean, clean, but just lubricate the cylinders. They always have lube and it really doesn't hurt anything. Just lubricates it and just clean with a towel and well, oh, microfiber, microfiber rag and uh, yeah, microfiber, whatever the hell. Fiber, yeah, fiber. can't pass me that. And um, freeze off. Right. It's a good little thing to have. Because I was going to use, well, it says engine degrees. If I have some brake cleaner over in my um, box over there, I was going to use that. But um, he was like, don't use that. Use the, um, use the other thing that's got lube in it. So, yeah, we're about to go ahead and start assembling this motor. Like I said, you don't have to take what you learned from us. This is just the way we're doing it. And this is the way I learned. So, yeah. Congratulations. No, you keep rolling. Congratulations, what? you put it incorrectly. You did every bit. Oh my god, this guy. Woo! Only if you guys knew. That, when y'all saw the motor last, the bitch was hanging. Okay, guys, the damn shit was hanging. Oh. I just sent it. <laughs> oh god. Yep. <laughs> oh, fuck. He didn't know about yeah. that. I knew about that yesterday. Yo, I'm about to snap my damn wrist off. Yep. Fuck. Oh, bitch. You, know, you wanna know why though? <laughs> Where is oh, the thing? Huh? Where's the thing? <laughs> I, I don't have that. I made it lost. Uh, that thing I had for like two thousand and twenty one too. But it's never <laughs> oh, that can up there. <laughs> oh, God damn. Hold up, let me show you. Oh, he a little bit doobie. Ha! So you can spin more better. Ha! Ah, no, no, huh? I'm supposed to tell you snap, snap. You snap a doodle. Snap, crap, and pop. Oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, love you too. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hey, Woody, tell them about your problem. Maybe somebody might be able to help you out with it. Okay, my problem is that my I'm running a dual timing chain mm -hmm. and have a melting oil pump yep. and it's not lining up correctly. And I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm just gonna run a single timing chain and call it a day just to for more things for worse for him yeah so mine guys what he means is this piece right here is not lining up when it goes to the crank mine's on the other hand is together his is separated we got it from two different people but you can get it either or but i wouldn't got it like this so hopefully today i might be installing this but yeah He's run into that issue. Nobody has that problem with it. We've been looking, YouTubing it. I called a bunch of mechanics. He's called a bunch of guys. So there's nothing you got. If anybody ran into that problem, let us know.
So now we're adding in the main bearings. Or the STD bearing. Yes, you see the box? Well, there you go. You need STD, don't you? Yeah, if you're not STD. Uh, STD. So what's the difference between that and STD? Why you asked that? Because we had the problem with mine that it was it was too much. It was a thousand cover. It's a thousand cover. It's a thousand cover. It ain't gonna run up. It ain't, I mean it will run up, but it ain't gonna work. I actually put the camera over here actually. Easy guys, I know. Ah! <laughs> but yeah, hold on. Where's this stuff? You don't need to go anywhere. Go to the ground. That's the new one. Oh, no, sorry. I thought that was in the beginning. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get some clothes on the next one. Oh, okay. So then what you need next? I need all of the bottom one. Oh, all the top one. Which one's this? How do you know which what? Because you have a hole. I have a hole. Hole, 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 hole. And hole. hole. And hole. Well, all right. Yeah. So you hear that, guys, right? All these guys holes. They got holes. <laughs> and holes. And holes. And holes. The way I normally install them. I install the rigid. But yeah, look how you do it like this. Put that side in first. Uh huh. And then, there you go. You got the last one? The last one, huh? What's the thing about this? You probably have your motor. Half oh, the man minute. built. Hell damn. No one had it. Okay. Half not full. <laughs> and you take the similar lube that he's got, and you smell it. You might even taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little? No, it, it, it spreads. Yeah, because you had to do all this. You know me, I'm kick that bitch on there. No, you don't need to. Cake it, and I want to make sure. Just make sure you have your bloody finger. Yeah, huh? <laughs> this is like the fun part to me, because I can be a kid. What do you have to do, stupid? You're on sides. You think you need more, huh? Probably. There you go. Okay. Fucked up thing about it is. Looby, looby. Yours is gonna be a lot faster than mine. Hey, now you know what you're doing. What the hell are you doing? Alright. Right. Don't mind me. So now, let's get the crank. Put it off. Damn it! God damn it! What? I cut myself. <laughs> With my own damn crank. Move that right. That little fade right. Oh, oh yeah, I did that when I was painting. My bad. You're good. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're gonna. Now, do you want to put any more in there? Are we? Are you supposed to put any more in there? No. Can you put any more in there? You can take them, but you don't know that, so. Um, I picked it up. It didn't take much. So, um, where's a nipple? Huh? Where's a nipple for the, um... The nipple? Where's the nipple for the air gun? Oh! Right over there on the shelf. So he's saying you don't have to put that much on here. That's good I mean, enough right there. I mean, you can. Now, 
They say you're supposed to measure that shit out, man, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you are, because it tells you what type of oil you're running. Yeah, they say you're supposed to measure it all out and everything. And it tells you how much space you got in between it and all that. Yeah. But, me being me, that's why I didn't really want to touch the bottom, man. Yeah, I'm just like, leave it alone, it'll be alright. So, crank thin. He's putting another dab on for me. But this shit goes, man. Yeah, I'm just, you know, more the merrier for me. Sorry. <laughs> they say, I guess they say differently, but yeah. So we about to move on. He about to do the top parts now. Do you mind if I do the motor? I don't care. I don't think it's a recording. Okay. That's cool. I mean, it's not like I'm not here. <laughs> At least you care if they actually pay attention to it. Believe it or not, I've built a Honda before, but it's to me it's all the same thing. Once you build one, it's they're all the same, so. I eat your blood. Yeah. Hmm, Let's go to the back one. Number five. So basically, I clean them out. I make sure this engine is completely well, so much clean. <laughs> yeah, because some people assume, oh, yeah, it's clean, clean. No. Thought that was the next. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, still feel the damn thing. Trying to bleed. Here's this one. Told you I got before. That. that one. Yeah, yeah. This ain't your first rodeo, no. No, it ain't. Cause you don't want to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't mine. My hands look purplish. Hmm. What look purplish? Sorry, I ain't picked that up in the camera. It ain't that good. <laughs> I thought that, uh... No. It ain't that good. Oh, which way is it supposed to go this way? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's the opposite. Yeah, I got confused for a second. Just... Hammer. You know, already know what it's gonna be a hammer. Give me the number. He's got. No, I gotta stop with that one. He said, "Finish building it. Put a turbo on it. Have fun. I can't wait." <laughs> You can reuse these bolts, right? So these what? Them bolts. The bottom end. Technically, it's worth the yield. Oh, okay. So you're not supposed to use them. Oh, well. Let's torque them down a little bit more than normal. <laughs> I see both of y'all faces turn. So, yeah, guys, we put the crank in. We're putting bolts in here now. And then from there, we should be good. Um, yeah, but your boy is going to try something. I want to see if this myth is true or not. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it. Yeah, that tells you right there. So we are torquing these down to 15 pounds of torque. And then we gotta go back over here with another set if I don't know. I don't remember, I don't remember it.
All right, so now he's doing that on 80 degrees. Did we got to change that torque wrench to do that? Oh no. So while he runs back to the house and get the some more stuff that we need to put this motor together, it's coming along very good. Yeah, I'm kind of like letting him touch it. I was going to touch it, but it'd be better for him to do it since he's already done it. And I'll go ahead and record it. So, yeah, need a recording hand and you basically need um, somebody that's pretty much done this. I'm not saying that I can't do it, just saying need a little bit of help. I was going to do that first by myself, but it doesn't hurt for somebody that's done it. So, I just want to tell you guys to let you guys know that I am doing a giveaway. It ends October, so the giveaway entry starts now. Uh, the way for you to enter is you got to like three of my videos. Comment on three of my comment on one of my three of my videos that you like my three recent videos Then after that you post it up and tag me in it Once you do that you're automatically entered to win the giveaway Which I will announce towards the end of like September going into October what it is so Guys take care, you know good luck on the giveaway Oh, yeah, and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe that really appreciate it goes a long way just saying